Saturday. Um, it is like 1.40 um, in the morning right now. And I just wanted to come on to tell you guys that your girl is experiencing um, ovulation pains on my left side. Um, and I don't know if it's something that I should be worried about or I should just be happy about that um, my body is letting me know um, that I'm going to ovulate. Um, typically, I only have that pain on my right side um, to see what you think. It looks pretty promising. Okay, guys, so here are my test results. Um, the camera is really not doing it any justice because it is darker and it also um, pulled up immediately. So, I don't know. So, what y'all think? Y'all think I should go ahead and just try to baby dance? Typically, um, when I've done it while I have these ovulation pains, sex was very painful. Um, and I was just ready to get this shit over with. But, I mean, I just want to maximize my chances as much as I can. So, I think I'm going to just be like, hey, babe, can we just get a quickie in real quick? Um, I know that's TMI, but y'all comment down below if y'all think that, um, I should just try to baby dance during my ovulation pains. Um, and also just let me know if y'all do that. Like when you feel those pains, what do you typically do? Do you baby dance or do you just try to find some comfort? Um, you take medicine for your ovulation pains, heating pad. What do you do during it? Guys, welcome back. Today is cycle day 25 and... Um, I just wanted to come on with a little update. I am still having some um, cramping pains, um, like ovulation pains still. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I'm just kind of going with the flow. So I think I have about roughly seven days left until I start my cycle. So we'll see. Um, I haven't been doing much that's very interesting so that's why i don't have much footage for this vlog but i just wanted to come on and give you guys an update um next thing may just be a pregnancy test or unless i have something um coming soon i've really just been getting the house ready for nick's family to visit very soon so hey guys happy sunday today is cycle day 28 so with my glow abscess, I am two days from my cycle, which probably isn't true. But I just wanted to come in and give you guys an update. My side where my fallopian tube is. So been kind of a struggle today. Um, and I haven't taken any medicine. I've been scared. I'm like, God, if this is it, and if the egg is in there, please push it through. Please, please, please. I do not want to have another ectopic pregnancy. So yeah, pretty much I've just been trying to take it easy um, and hope that the pain goes away. When I woke up this morning, I thought it was just gas. I'm like, let me just work on trying to get this gas out. But yeah, that wasn't it. So something's going on in there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. I'm in bed just hoping that this pain will just pass. Um, I've taken my sleepy medicine, and so I'm about to crash. Um, comment down below. Let me know where you guys are with your cycle and um, what you guys got going this Saturday night. I'm not sure what day I'm going to post this, but i still like to know what you guys have planned on the weekend. So, yeah, my Sunday plans is going to just be to chill. Maybe work on some balloon stuff, but... Yeah, just to chill. I picked up a side gig and I worked there today. And I'm just worn out, you guys. So, yeah, I plan on just taking it easy for the rest of the weekend. I hope you guys enjoy your night. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Today is Cycle Day 34. As you can see, I'm in the same spot that I was a couple days ago. And honestly, like my right fallopian tube has been giving me the freaking blues. Um... It's just been kind of like excruciating. Yesterday was really, really bad. I wanted to pick up the camera to vlog, but y'all, I just couldn't. The only thing that was giving me relief was prayer, okay? I was trying everything and nothing was working. Um, I'm on my heating pad right now. Um, that's pretty much, I'm just, you know, getting on the heating pad for a little bit and then taking it off. So the pain is like in my pelvic area and I kind of feel it like um, 
the part of my thigh area where I guess I don't know it's kind of weird but like in my thigh area too um pelvic area groin area I guess you could say it's kind of hard to explain but I am going to be making a doctor's appointment so they can check to make sure it's not like no type of infection or something that's going on um I do remember having this um pain before like where I had a um heating pad attached to me like 24 7. but yeah guys like prayerfully um there is no infection maybe my fallopian tube just got a lot of fluid build up i don't know i, I don't know what's going on but y'all just pray for me because this is just excruciating and then also we just had some you know some bad news going on in our family and um there's gonna be another vlog that i'm gonna actually sit down with nick possibly and talk to you guys about but yeah I just want to give you guys an update um cycle day 34 <clears throat> and you know i'm just hoping that my cycle don't come but i'm hoping that if it don't come that everything's fine and ain't nothing ain't no ectopic pregnancies going on y'all pray for you hey guys i just wanted to come and check in unfortunately um my cycle started on cycle 34 cycle day 34 um and it has been tragic. I have had a very heavy, heavy rainbow baby day. So for all of you beautiful ladies that have received your rainbow baby, so happy for you. Um, and for those of us that's still in waiting, our babies are to come. Um, and we just have to really believe that. And so that's kind of where I am right now. Just hoping and praying that I will receive my rainbow baby one day. I know that I will. So believe in it for you too so if you are still in waiting keep the faith keep praying keep trying and if it ever gets overwhelming or too much then just take a break but i just wanted to come on and end the video properly and cheers this is t <laughs> but cheers to another month of trying i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching my video and until the next time bye guys